Hello everyone, this is Bob and Threadbear, and welcome back to The Witcher 3. So, last time we finished up the main quest section that takes place in Skellige, the first main quest section, I should specify, there's quite a bit of it left. However, we are not yet done with... What was that? Things out. Why? Here, it's damp and dark. In on us. Hey there, mind if I crash in? Ventured a bit too far, white haired stray. But you still got a chance to leave here alive if you pay. You really think I'm gonna pay you? Let's leave my coin pouch out of it. We'll take it anyway, just after we got you. They never learn, do they? <laughs> Not sure how this ended up as a fist fight, but okay. I mean, that. That last guy just didn't have a weapon. And yeah, it looks like they just kind of stumbled into some ancient elven ruins and decided to uh, loot them. Not sure if these containers up here are essentially the uh, the sum total of what they managed to loot, or whether it's uh, something they found when they came here. Because it could very well be that other people. There's something here. Need to use the eye. Hang on. Could be that other people were here earlier. And also use this place as some sort of smuggling hold. And then these highwaymen were just lucky enough to happen upon the cache that had been abandoned by its original uh, suppliers. Anyway, yeah, I am going through that illusory wall. I just uh, wanted to make sure that I didn't leave any giant piles of stuff behind. As it turns out, I was right, because there are even more giant piles of stuff. But, as I was saying earlier, there are still th Skelligan things to do here before we head back to the mainland to continue the main quest. And, in particular, you can see that the one I want to do first is the final Fists of Fury. Test my might against the uh, Skelligan champion Olaf, who has to be encountered last, much like the other two areas. And I believe that there is also a uh, final Fists of Fury opponent that only unlocks once you have cleared out all three regions. The quest for all three regions, to be specific. Hopefully we'll be able to do that, too. And of course we also have some unfinished business with... Illusion. Krakon Crate and the Oncrate Clan. Still got to decide who the new High King or High Queen is going to be. leads back outside. Back to where I started, in fact. The reason I was searching through this uh, cavern is mostly because I happened upon it as I was uh, heading back down from uh, the ship on the mountains. Figured I might as well take a look. Friend of yours, see if you have a common folk. Bad death will take you. What happened to the 
All right. So, the famed Olaf is in this direction. It's. Who do I spy? Or can't be a challenger for Olaf? You've come to fight Olaf. He's long awaited a worthy opponent. Hmm. These tourneys are usually held on street corners, in taverns at best. Got a real arena here. Built thanks to another's generosity. Berna Bran donated her jewels. All right. Where's Olaf? He'll show. Soon as he's got an opponent. I want to face Olaf. This fighting's a Skellig a tradition. And here on Anskellig, that tradition's damn near hallowed. What makes your tradition special? Warrior by the name of Duns Ursus once lived on Anskellig. Fought monsters with his bare hands. Tourneys held in his honor. I'll fight as though my life depended on it. What do they call ye? Geralt of Rivia. Geralt of Rivia. Enter the arena. Emerge victorious, and you'll have the honor to face the champion of champions. That's the additional champion I was talking about earlier. But yeah. So a guy named Ursus fights monsters with his bare hands, huh? Fighting is our sacred tradition. The blood spilt in this arena bears witness to the clan's strength. The victor today will be champion. Yet any who is bold enough to fight is already a hero. Yeah, I saw it coming. Shit. So it's not a monster, it's a, it's a bear. But still, you get the idea. So obviously it's important in this fight to uh, stay mobile and not get hit repeatedly by the bear. And if you do get hit repeatedly by the bear, you should uh, wait a while for your health to regenerate. And yeah, with the bear, it's, uh, it's a good idea to do the full roll and not just the, uh, the short distance dodge. Not sure how in the uh, iframes work for Witcher th 3, but uh, I'm pretty sure it is possible to be hit while dodging if the uh, enemy is ha has a big enough reach to hit you through the start and finish. Also, gotta love how the uh, NPCs are uh, freaking out because there's a bear and it's fighting nearby. You defeated Ola. It was a fair fight. And that's the program reaction. Anyone else out there I could fight? You've defeated everyone there was to defeat in Skellige. Makes you champion of the Isles. Take pride, friend. There is also the champion of champions. I've had my eye on you. Tremendous potential. Would you consider dropping these amateur hayseed thumps? Fighting professionally, perhaps? Not sure I know what you mean. I seek someone who has what it takes to dethrone the champion of champions. A certain Skelliger now holds the title. I believe you alone stand to beat him. Ask yourself, am I man enough to sail to Skelliger and throw down the gauntlet to the champion of champions? I mean, I've already done the first part. I can sure as hell try. Excellent. There's an arena on the Isle of Speakerog. That is where the current champion of champions fights. I shall warn them you're on your way to issue a challenge. 
Farewell. Also, this kind of proves that, as a matter of fact, there is someone left in Skellige to fight. Should probably go do that. I know you're fine. All right, going from on Skellig to Speaker Rog, and hey, it's that arena I cleared out—the one with the uh, the ghost. Last night was. Hey there. Oh, the mutant, eh? Don't make a face. It's good you are one. Ordinary bloke never stand a chance against the champion of champions. You have come to challenge him, haven't you? Anything I should know about my opponent? Had to fight a bear earlier. Bit surprised. Go with him. He'll lead you where you need to go. Behold, the champion of champions. There's a guy in the way. Oh. A rock troll. A very well developed rock troll. This supposed to be a fist fight? Aye, fists. Uh, of course, we provide a dignified funeral, observing the rituals of the Challenger's Creed. Current champion's a troll. Everybody all right with that? No one's got a problem? Why would they? He's an honorable troll. Came and said he wanted to fight, and the previous champion agreed. That'd be Zama, known also as Sandylocks. And he got the name even for the troll planted him in the dirt head first. Troll have a name? We wager he does, but he'll not reveal it till he's defeated. He's a troll errant, see? Won't say much if he doesn't survive that fight. Aye, fair enough. But I wager he don't imagine he'll lose. And maybe, as he's a troll, he don't imagine much at all. Doubt logic's his strong suit. I want to fight the champion of champions. What do they call ye? Geralt of Rivia. I'm ready to fight. Geralt of Rivia, time to begin. So one thing I definitely gotta say about the uh, Fists of Fury storyline, questline, is that while most of the regular fights are boring and repetitive, the last two are quite memorable. And to give the troll some credit, I did have to repeat this fight a couple of times before I beat him. Skin made of stone will do that to a guy. Also, the fact that he's a red skull enemy means I really should have waited until I had a few more levels before doing this. But then... I am pretty much near the end of the regular uh, quests. Just about all of them, I mean. There is that full uh, big ending to the High King stuff, that storyline. But aside from that, there's really not much else that isn't connected to the main quest. There's also DLC stuff, but the levels of the DLC stuff assume that you have completed the main quest first and gone to every region and done at least a majority of all the various quests. He's talking now. 
But yeah, something else you might have noticed is that... Uh-oh. opponent starts uh, screaming, it's probably charging up something that you want to stay away from. And this troll in particular does have a couple of attacks that you uh, otherwise would never encounter. And yeah, while the bear is an enemy you really need to uh, dodge away from or uh, roll away from, I suppose. The troll has a short enough reach that you can use the uh, the shorter dodge instead. Of course, being of such high level by comparison, he does have a tremendous sized uh, hit pool, damage pool, which means this does take quite a while to whittle down. I have gotten him halfway though, and meanwhile, like I was saying last time, the, uh, the audience NPCs are reacting to this fight with panic and not just cheering, and rather than being a normal part of, you know, being in the audience, it's simply because they were programmed to react that way. If a uh, dangerous fight were to happen in their uh, vicinity, and yes, that is the attack that I had been uh, running away from this, this entire time. It seems like if you get enough distance from him that he uh, aborts the, uh, the, the run and swing attack, which is just fine with me. It's the most dangerous thing he does, because uh, if you climb back up to your feet after rolling at just the wrong time and his fist is extended, then you are going down. Cannot take too many hits from this guy. Oh, here he comes. It is a tracking attack, too, which just makes it that much more dangerous. Like, if he ran in just one direction swinging, that would be one thing easy enough to avoid, but no, no. He, he can see where you are, he's going to attack your location, even as you dodge to one side. Almost got him down, though. Come on. Didn't come this far just to fail now. Gotcha. I did it. Geralt of Rivia, you've defeated the champion of champions in fair combat. Earned the right to bear the title yourself. This very eve, I'll send word to the four corners of the world. The title is yours. As is the champion's prize. Athak Akidov. Well, I'm glad the troll survived. Really is an honorable troll. And in any case, the uh, main quest has activated once again. But I do have some scavenger hunting left to do. Best to get that out of the way. And yeah, it's on the island that uh, 
I avoided earlier, but uh, now I've done everything on the island, so... No reason to avoid it now. wants me to go because it's certainly not in the right direction all right here we are but sadly we are too high up oh wait it said we were too high up but now it's saying that we are right on location. Maybe maybe I was just a little too low down the slope and it came up as uh, the wrong altitude. Ah, dang it. But yes, unfortunately, while that last troll was quite honorable, uh, this one's just itching for a fight. Fortunately, it's uh, a much easier fight by comparison. Always feels like a waste when you get the instant death right when you would have killed him anyway. Sadly, the troll does not seem to have dropped anything, but. Hmm. Might want to look around some. He was guarding the area. The area that was uh, inhabited, or that the diagram is within. Okay, so, poison gas in this chamber. <coughs> what the hell? I just, I just cleared it. Did it regenerate at just the wrong moment? What the hell? Damn, the, the gas in this chamber is aggressive. Like it returns a lot faster than I was expecting. And so, sadly, it killed me before I could find the diagram. So yeah, I left that death in mostly because of how unexpected and annoying and dangerous it was. But don't I have that, like, Pops mold antidote? Does that work against poisons, gas in general, or...? Because if so, I could really use it for this. Certainly seems to take effect just as fast. There it is. Pops mold antidote. Does it work? <coughs> it does not. God damn it. Just gotta take a couple steps and, uh... <coughs> crying out loud and it comes back immediately luckily I do have the highest level swallow <coughs> there it is now I can get out of here and stay out Yeah, when it's not being countered by other uh, aggressive damage drain effects. Just a regular swallow potion. Well, I should say regular. Just the uh, 
third tier swallow potion is actually very effective. Alright, but now that I've finished that up, I am actually done with uh, that particular set of scavenger hunt locations. And since we've got the, uh, the main quest active, it is pointing the way to the nearest signpost. So it's actually kind of convenient in that way. But first of all, I do have one other, or actually a couple other, uh, diagrams left to find. Whoops. Forgot I had Igni out. But as you'll recall, this is where we finally caught up to uh, Hjalmar. And now that the uh, quest is over, it's uh, been taken over by a bunch of these devourer types. Anyway, the item that we we're looking for is at the far end of the town ruins just up here in what used to be some sort of keep or hold. Oh, hang on. Well, what do you know? There it was. All right, just got to backtrack through the town. To the uh, signpost. Much faster now that I don't have to kill a bunch of devourers to get anywhere. The last item is back here on Speakerog by the old watchtower. Hmm. Surprised I didn't come across it. Hmm. Might want to look around some. As a matter of fact, it's quite obvious that it's here. The barrel is glowing. Actually, the barrel isn't glowing anymore. I had to walk up and try to interact with it and... Okay, I think this is actually a place where there was a bunch of uh, bandits that I had to uh, slay. Probably why I didn't, you know, notice anything else around here. Is there some sort of basement or something? Stairs or a hole that goes down? Because there sure doesn't appear to be anything up. I mean, there's this, but... No, that doesn't go anywhere. There's nothing up there, I've checked. Nothing down there, either. The radius is... Oh, hang on. Oh, you crafty devils. There you are. Alright, and that is the last of the diagrams in Skellige. There are still three more hunts left to do, but that is in Kaer Morin.
So aside from this king's gambit, there's nothing left to do in Skellige. I've done it all. Just open for me. Master Geralt. A guard spotted you from the tar. They sent me to open the gate. Why was it closed? Is that famous Skellige hospitality? Me. Tis tradition. After the feast, the Jarls will choose the king, so the doors must remain closed. Only the sons and daughters of Skellige may stay in the castle. Krach make an exception just for me? All know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar. Today, you're one of us. Come. Krak awaits. And for Blue Boy Lugos. I helped him too. How's the mood in there? Come. Too calm. How's that? We've an adage here at Skellige. At a good feast, meat and blood flow in equal measure. Surely you consider this barbaric on the continent, no? Not sure. Sounds preferable to dull banquets garnished with court intrigue. Step careful there. I've as much right to it as you do. And I'd expect you to support me, not pinch my allies. If an crates to wear the crown, it should be you, because you've got fur growing on your chin, that it. Show some of your own, and the arms just might listen to you. Watch your mug smacked. Remember, I was left standing last time we crossed fists. <laughs> yeah? So you'll fight the Vilkards with me? Wonder who'll do better? You? Or Yalmar, the giant slayer? Oh, stop your shite boasting! Zerus! Hey! Ah, damn it! Bad way to play it out. Think I don't know that? But you saw her. She's so. so. Am I stubborn? Fierce, mule-headed, refuses to listen to anyone. Exactly! <laughs> Runs in the blood. <laughs> True, Arnval. Me and Cyrus, we're near twins in that regard. Don't see Krach. You talking to the Arls? No, went to his chambers. To prepare your promised reward, no doubt. If you've a spell witch, or perhaps you'd fancy some fifty cups with the Vilkarls. Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe later. You know us by our customs. Not you, nor that witch, Vienna. Your respect. Did you last too? Hmm. Here's that reactions to Geralt are a bit mixed around here. And so this is what Arnvald calls quiet. They honor our respect the Emperor has sent. He needs to hear and approve the course they're set. We waited in ambush in a pit. As soon as they sailed away, we rammed our prow straight into their side. Cotton was tough on account of our bad blade. So we pushed him into the sea. Sag faster than stones. <laughs> Come visit us. We'll show you what a real fish is. Giants are running. You would think that uh, the uh, Imperial sailors at least would know better than to wear plate. Greetings, Berna. Feast not to your liking. This is no feast. It's a farmer's market where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins. Svanrig is not going to vie for support. Bran's son will not haggle for a crown that is his by right. 
As far as I know, Crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes. That is the tradition, but not all traditions are good. The Isle's care should be entrusted to a single family. Your family, right? Take it you have a specific family in mind. Of course. Bran was the best King Skellig has seen in centuries. The throne should pass on to Svanriga, his true-born son, and then on to his sons. What's wrong with voting for your king? Take a walk. Listen and you'll understand. The claimants already hand out land, promise privileges, titles, favorable judgments. They behave like whores lifting their skirts for every passerby. A king by the grace of votes is no ruler, but a debtor. This must end. We must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne. I hope the Yards will see the wisdom of it. Leaving Kertrolda? Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. It's almost like an elected ruler has to listen to his constituents. May I? You must even. Come! I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking. Any better than your continental balls? Definitely more to drink. Ah, there is. Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, century and plum brandy. A hackamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Clan on crate knows the meaning of hospitality. Saw you talking to Berna. What about? Politics. After all, North else interests her. Wedge tried to convince me that we must honor Brand's memory. And to that aim, I'm to command my offspring to withdraw from the race for the crown. Support Svanrigger instead. Why do I think you turned her down? <laughs> you put it mildly. I showed her the door. Feeling torn between Yalmar and Ceres? You mean, do I have a favorite? Nay. They're as different as fire and water. But on crepe blood flows in both. Between you and me, Yalmar's not too hot-headed to be king. Depends on the kind of king you have in mind. Want one who will send emissaries, move figurines about a map, calculate the most profitable option? And yes, he's too hot-headed. But Skelliger wants a different ruler. The kind who will drown Nilfgaard in blood. Sooner jump into a fire than surrender. And that is Yalma. If you escalate your attacks, you stand to infuriate Amir. Could regret it someday. In Skelliger, we spit on the notion of peace at any cost. Think the Council of Jarls will dare to put a woman on the throne? If you'd asked me some months ago, I'd have laughed in your face. But today I see, and I'm not alone, that Ceres has something as rare on the Isles as a hot summer. Patience. Others act, then think. She's different. She thinks things through, the for, the against. But once she takes action, not a force in the world could stop her. Promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word. Here. This bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you for helping ensure the line endures. Beautiful craftsmanship. Thanks. I'm the one. <laughs> Too much screaming and roaring. Bears with fangs. We've gotten in despite the uh, the fort colors being down. Something's happening here.
Also, Garrett pulled out his silver sword. Some cloth! Gotta stop the bleeding! Quick! Da. Da. Take my cloak! Hold on, son. He'll pull through. A shark grabbed my leg once. Albion! He's dead. Where'd those bears come from, huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my dad. Stow your blade, pup, or Crack will lose a son too. You insult me, Lugos. And now you threaten my son. I will not step to this. Dad, come here. Come on! Put you down like a rabbit dog. Calm down. Calm down. Enough blood's been spilt. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives. But we can, we must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Find the guilty on crate. Find and kill them. Else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. Anybody see how the bears got in? Don't matter. I know where to find the guilty already. Wait! Are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Yards aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. I can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. So who do you want to be king? You're right, Ceres. I'll help you. Thanks. Fine. See you when I return with the traitor's heads. I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Summon the healer, hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf, I thank you. Whoever you supported in that last decision will become High King. Ever see anything like that? No, and I hope I never will again. Where'd the bears come from? We were all laughing, eating, drinking. Suddenly, a massacre. Torrents of blood on the walls. Know who died? Drogadar. Drakeborn Dew. Blue Boy Lugos. Yalborn. Otrig. Take some time, mention them all. I heard you helped Lugos. As you helped me with the Haim. But you could name the claimants to the throne who survived in one breath. You, Yalmar, and Svanriga. What are you saying? Nothing, just yet. What happened before the massacre? Be precise. Y young Lucas bet he could empty a barrel of beer in one go. He climbed on the table, grabbed a pony keg of centrin wheat, and started chugging. His throat bulged like a blowfish. Face went red, but he kept drinking. Folks started banging their tankers on the table, shouted, Lugos, Lugos. Then, from the other side of the room, we heard this roar. We turned in unison as if a coxswain had called. They were there. They were already there. Folks closest to the bears didn't even manage to draw their weapons. They... They were ripped to shreds. We'll avenge them, I promise. We've talked enough. Let's look around. Let me know what you find. I'll speak to the others. Maybe someone saw more than I did. So, Svanriga was the only claimant who wasn't present. Let it go. Together, Fang marks, claw marks, broken bones. Hard to say what exactly killed him.
Looked away a moment. Turned back around. Saw a bear standing by the bench. What is the gods doing? Maybe they're punishing us. For what? You're talking rubbish. All right. What do we have here? Bear's head, but the tongue's short, like a human's. Also the fangs. Mouth smells of honey liqueur. Mead. And something else. Something earthy. Bears like honey. Before it's fermented. Strange. Something under the fur. A tattoo? Shape of a bear paw. Old scar. Looks like it was sutured. Half man, half bear. Something like a lycanthrope. No full moon, so something else caused the transformation. Maybe something he ate, or drank. Mead. Mead with an earthy aroma. Need to check the horns, tankards, and bowls. Bowl at each table. Mead in this one. And only mead. All the horns are empty. Autric. Shit, no more than a kid. So many wounds. No wonder Hjalborn bled to death. Took him by surprise. Didn't have a chance to defend himself. Too busy drinking. Bodies massacred. Hard to tell who it is. Stangrim, maybe? Earthy scent from the bear's maw. Something towards mushrooms? Bowls empty. But the scent's in the air. Coming from somewhere else in this room. Here, meat spiked with some kind of mushroom and human blood. Ceres, come here. A guard saw what happened. Those weren't bears, they were. Men who transform into bears. Uh huh. Berserkers. Berserkers? The skull's name for warriors who change into animals in the midst of battle. The stuff of fairy tales, legends. But it seems to make sense, right? Mm hmm. Almost. We were at a feast, not on a battlefield. Think I know what caused them to transform. The mead they drank. Smell this. Mead spiked with blood, and something else. Thinking it could be a mushroom, but I don't recognize the type. Hjort might help us. Few druids know herbs better. Can't hurt to try. So, Hjomar is aware that these are berserkers. He discovered that earlier during the fight. A disgrace. The camp we've not seen since the Red Funeral. Fewer died then. And I'm a Jarl's son of my own. If this turns out to be Crack, I'll twist his head off. If Crack appears to be guilty, we'll try him and keep him with our customs. Aye, but then I'll twist his head off. It's hey, Red Wedding reference. Wanted to talk to you. What about? What about? What do you think, Holger? Let's not hear about Salted Herring or the currents around Speaker Rogue. Flap your gob at me again and I'll shut it for good. Calm down. You act like rabbit dogs, not yarls of Skelliger. Speak, Witcher. How'd all of you manage to survive? What are you saying? Eh? That we're the ones schemed this up? Shut your gob. You're clucking as foolish as a gander hatching eggs. We survived because we're the best warriors in Skelliger. You're both damn fools. If not for the Witcher, none of us would be alive. 
Any ideas who might be behind the massacre? Nilfgaard. They're the most to gain. But we'll avenge our sons. We'll burn their shores from Nazea to Atolia. Wonders abound in the Nilfgaardian army. Towers with wheels, Zeracanian mercenaries on humpback horses. But I've not heard of them having trained bears. This was crack, I tell you. We're in his castle, he let him in. Wasted words, Lugos. I don't know who the traitor is, Witcher, but I'll tell you, it's none of us. We all lost loved ones. So long. Freyr, our mother. May the sea swallow the traitors. Freyr, our lady. Mind if I interrupt? Already have? What is it? Someone spiked one of the mead barrels with blood and something else. An herb or a mushroom. Sarah said, Give me the horn. I know the smell. A mushroom. Mardrom. Mardrom related in any way to berserkers? Aye. But only in the tales told to children as they are put to sleep on cold winter nights. Warriors who ate Mardrom were said to transform into beasts when consumed by battle rage. But as I said, it's only... Only a legend, I know. Still, I find it easier to believe than some story about bears appearing out of nowhere. Ceres wasn't lying. You know your fungi. I do. Especially those which affect the mind, soothe it, summon waking dreams. Odalric suffered for years. I tried to help him in various ways, initially with prayer, then with poppy milk. But he's done with that now, right? It's not that simple. But we'll wean him off it yet. Mardrum. Never heard of it. You have another name for it on the continent. Silas I believe. All right. Peasants eat it to soothe pain. Udalric tried it too, but only a few times. In larger doses, the mushroom causes visions, nightmares. Yes, the last thing Udalric needed more of. Thanks for your help. Blood and marjoram. The taste of human flesh and a substance that triggers visions. That well could have caused the rage. Maybe even the transformation. Maybe. Hard to believe someone spiked the mead here in the hall, though, in front of all those witnesses. You're right. I helped prepare for the feast. I'd have noticed. It might have happened before they brought the drink upstairs. In the cellars, maybe? Come on, we could find some clues there. So what Hjalmar has done here is he is aware of... Uh, just checking. He is aware of some druids who work with berserkers and has gone to confront them. However, those druids will refuse to say anything. You'll be forced to attack. We must find the traitors quickly. Elsewise, the warriors will take matters into their own hands. Castle's a buzz already. Think they'd attack Croc openly? My father or each other. All in the finest Skellige tradition. Haven't had a good civil war in ages. Knew there'd be trouble. It was all too calm. Funny. Arnvold said the same. For a feast to be any good, mead's gotta flow. But so does blood. I'd say he got his wish. Hmm. I really hope Yalmar's doing something useful, not just looking for a fight. Relax. Your brother's impetuous, not stupid. Yeah, Hjalmar will fail to learn anything useful, even if you go with him. We keep the poison at the cellar's other end, down below. Come, I'll show you. We keep the poison at the cellar's other end. <coughs> the stench! Is that vodka? The Hackerman spirit. Someone ruined several barrels of the finest. Good thing Dad's got other worries in his mind. Right behind you. That's a relief. Finest vodka is also the most flammable. Blood 
into mushrooms. Think we can find out where this barrel came from? Looks different. What the? Shit. The spirit! There's another exit behind the barrels, but they're too heavy. We'll never move them. Don't intend to. Quick. Somebody's damn desperate to bring our investigation to a quick end. Mm, this is magic. One rare a place of power. When the armor and the Bygone days. This is the only way to get that place of power, by the way. By going with Ceres. Choosing her over Hjalmar. I get my hands on that pyromaniac. Let's think. They had to use the entrance we used. Maybe they left some prints behind. Maybe. When the door slammed shut and the fire broke out, did you hear a bottle shatter too? No, <laughs> but I have no witcher sense at my disposal. You must hear the hair growing on my head. <laughs> I try not to eavesdrop. Anyway, entrance is worth checking. Come on. Yeah, at the very least, by going with Helmar, you will preserve the family name. Clear the uh, on crates of suspicion, and thereby allow him to uh, claim the throne. However, by helping Ceres, you will actually find the person responsible and be able to bring them to justice. So it's just sort of early proof that she does, in fact, make a better king than her brother does. I mean, if you're interested in a, having a king that does more than just raid, I mean. Yomar is good at raiding. He's good at getting people killed during raids, but he is also good at raiding. Okay, the, uh, oh. Someone walked through the mead. I was wondering why it wouldn't let me through the door. Here we go. Trail breaks off. Need to find another clue nearby. Something else to follow. Must have felt his clothing rip, but was in a hurry. What's this? Piece of cloth. No. It can't be. What is it? Arnfeld's tunic. Only he wears this kind. Sure about that? Saw him in the main hall with the servants. Let's go. So Arnfeld is involved. Sad, really. Look, it's him! Grab a horse, we'll chase him down. So it is possible to actually uh, catch up to Arnvald here. Arnvald! Stop, damn it! Doubt he'll listen. When I get my hands on him. And it's, all, it's also possible to not catch him, for him to. You don't stand a chance. For him to get away. <laughs> but actually catching him is not that hard. Why do you betray them? Talk, or I'll finish what I started. No on crate should ever sit on Skellige's throne. I know you better than others do. You're hot-headed, irresponsible. Skellige needs stability. A strong king. Not the kind a band of drunken jarls will choose. Curious. Never heard you voice that idea. But I do know one who never stops saying it. It's Bernard Bran, isn't it? You were never a good liar or involved. We know what Bernard's motive was. We need proof. Your word against Berna's, that's not enough. Anvald, help us. And I'll ask my dad to grant you an honorable death. I'll insist. I have letters from her. Instructions. How to poison the mead. 
but she never sang them. There's no seal. Will that be enough? It'll have to be. We shouldn't delay. Time to gather the orals. I've assembled the Yarls in council as you demanded, Ceres on Crate. You claim to know who's behind the slaughter at Kaer Trolda. Speak then. The blood of Skellige's sons and daughters. Whose hands does it stain? Bernard Brands. The lass is mad. Do you think anyone will believe you? You had them serve poison meat to the berserkers. I beg your pardon. The servants of Kaer Trolda are not mine to command. Twas your father who called for the feast, who assembled the guests. There's reason in these words. Have you any proof to confirm your accusation? I've better. I've a witness. Arnvald. Who could be dead, incidentally. But isn't. Sarah speaks true. Bernard commanded me to poison the maid. And Ceres and the Witcher descended into the cellars. Who betrayed us? The clan that took you in? Good man. He's a servant to Oncrate, a lackey. He will say what they command him to say. He would lie for them even were he to pay for it with his head. Burner speaks true. Arnvald has served a care trolder ever since I remember. Loyally, look a dog. I can vouch for Ceres. She's telling the truth. You? Yet another uncrate lackey? Did Ceres entice you to cooperate? I can imagine how. Or has Crack paid you to smear my name? What did you say? Calm yourselves. After what I saw on Speaker Rock, I trust the Witcher. More than I do you. You've that right. But it's no proof of my guilt. Got one more piece of evidence. A letter from Bernard to Arnvald, instructing him how to spike the mead. It lacks my signature. It lacks my seal. But perfume soaked through the parchment. A very strong scent, you know. Still to be sensed. <laughs> Is this your free flask? Is this what you call evidence of my supposed treason? Don't make me laugh. Bernard's right, Cyrus. Tis all precious little proof of her wrongdoing. Alas, your brother Hjalmar also has not presented anything that could clear your family's name. We've but one path left to us. Holger, Lugos, it's time we quit this damn castle. Come, we must decide what punishment Clan on Crate will face. You're making a big mistake. Silence, wanderer. Wait! Mother, you bade me to leave the hall before the feast. Why? Son, not now. Why did you do it? How did you know? Hi! You stand silent. You gave Ceres no credence. You gave the Witcher no credence. But you must give credence to a son who accuses his own mother. Massacre was her doing. She shamed herself, me, the family, the clan. Svanrika, I did it for you. Only for you. You admit to this deed. As the eldest of the Jarls, I cleanse the name of Clan on Crate. And you, Berna Bran, I sentence to death. You will be chained to a rock to perish of hunger and thirst, and sea fowl will peck apart your remains. So as it turns out, we did not have to convince the Jarls. We had to convince Svanriga. When I had a lust for power, I knew this. But so strong as to commit such a crime. What about Svanriga? What's his fate? He'd lose his home, his name, his honor. 
He'll choose exile. Or death. But enough. Whatever comes, we must endure. I thank you, Geralt. Again? No need. Again. I'll not take any more of this modesty. This is a land of heroes. Let this remind you of that. And now, I must ride for Gedinath, for the Jarl's council. Time to pick a king. What do you think? Who'll get the nod? Come with me. See for yourself. All may listen to our deliberations. I do have a horse in the race. Can't refuse, to be honest. As I thought. Well, let's go. So I got another sword for getting through King's Gambit. Funnily enough, Svanriga makes a better king than Hjalmar. If you ignore this whole questline, he becomes the king. We're just in time. They've already started. Word long ago, we gave King Grant back to the sea. Today, our morning ends. Today, by the grace of the gods and the clans, a new ruler takes the crown. Let us swear her fealty. Of course. And how'd she put it on under her hair? I know some would see another in my place. I thank those who stood at my side. Here, beneath the sacred oak, I pledge to be a good queen to the ones and the others. I want peace and prosperity to reign in Skellige. And I count on you to help me fulfill that dream. Ceres! 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 Peace, prosperity, and also raiding foreign shores. It's not about to stop doing that. Congratulations. You'll make a great queen. Thank you. Wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. What's the new Queen of Skellige planning? <sighs> to listen, learn, and listen again. Then we'll see. Good plan. I must unite the clans. I'd rather avoid war, but if Nilfgaard aims to attack, we must repel them together. Drummond folk might be a problem. I saw Lugas during the ceremony. Furious, to say the least. There's always been strife between our clans. But I must try and talk to him. Just might bring an end. Keep my fingers crossed. Farewell. You all right? So so. Anywhere you cut it, I was bested by a wench. Not just any wench. Aye, true. I suppose if it had to be so, I'm glad it was Ceres. Not even a little proud of her. Come on, admit it. A bit, aye. She's the blood of me blood, bone of me bone. But don't tell her I said so. Liable to puff out her chest. Which would do her good now I think of it. <laughs> we showed Lugos. That's most important. Did you see that rage grip him? I thought he'd burst. Yeah, surprised to see him in that much of a half, actually. Our clans have been butting heads, chests, bellies forever. It's the lay of the land. Take care, Yalmar. So, who else is there to talk to around here? Yes, 
He's as much courage as Saris, but she's got something else. Wisdom, cunning, good outcome. Geralt, friend, what brings you here? What do you think of Skellige's new ruler? The Bardic claimant won. Farewell. Short and sweet. This is good. No one of these Iowa tribes that kills more than does Saris. Long left Saris! Long left the Queen! For the glory of the Isles! We'll follow you always! Into the fire! Into the fire! Can we talk? What do the Druids think of Skellige's new ruler? On great blood is good blood. Yet Ceres is the first woman to rule Skellige. Ever. Not everyone's pleased. There are seven clans in Skellige. Each would like a king from their own line, but Ceres will manage. She's not as impulsive as Shalmar. Thinks first, then acts. With Krach as her advisor, she has every chance to be a good queen. Yen and I went to Hindersfjall. Oh? Did you learn anything? Siri came through Lofoten. She was wounded when she arrived. Villagers nursed her back to health. Sadly, the wild hunt was on her trail. Followed her there. Siri managed to escape, and the villagers. I know. I needn't finish. I later spoke to those who survived. Suffice to say, Siri was fortunate to escape. I trust you'll find her soon. Farewell. All right, anybody else around here? This way? Like that's just about everybody. So it's finally time to dedicate ourselves to the main quest. Next time.